So, uh, Backlash 2003 is the ultimate good news, bad news scenario. Um, the good news, John Cena makes his way to his first championship match. The bad news, your opponent's Brock Lesnar. But if you want the championship, you gotta try to climb the mountain. And I was really, really excited for that match. I think that was still where uh, my youthful enthusiasm got in the way of genuine perspective. But once again, when you're essentially a startup, everything is a win. Everything in that direction is a win. So it was really good to be able to have a championship match and be thought of as somebody who could start to be considered for that conversation. This is John Cena, one of those many young talents that's been working his way through the WWE system. The WWE graduating developmental class of 2002 is now looked back at as like, man, this was a gold rush of talent with names like Randy Orton, Dave Bautista, myself, Brock Lesnar. It's like, man, what you don't realize is that we were developing ourselves where the roster included Kurt Angle, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Undertaker, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, before the perspective and the environment of sports entertainment is very cutthroat. It is a very swimming with the sharks. So looking back on it, it's great. We all made it. We all made an impact. And I'm so grateful that all of us were able to contribute. It's always easy to tell the story 20 years later. But not one of us thought we were going to make it. Brock being the exception. That loss really hurt because I didn't know when I'd get another chance. I didn't know if I'd get another chance of becoming a WWE champion. You just, you never know in this business. Anything can happen in the WWE, that's a fact. It was a gut punch, but I had to accept that I'd done my best and I'd come up short. And I'd just have to try again later. If I got that opportunity again, I would do everything in my power to take advantage of it.
Lesnar. Six feet, 300 pounds plus, tattoos, shaved head. There's a whole lot more than meets the eye. I've never admitted this to anyone for six years I've been watching you. I had the perspective of he always had something to prove, like through all of his success, which is his Hall of Fame career, it always felt like he was giving off the energy that he always had something to prove. I lash out, and when I lash out, people get Hurt. I've had a lot of matches with Batista, and I think all of them mean something because anytime you get two performers that are at a level of success, both Batista and John Cena were loved by the audience. Uh, very rarely was the perception of good guy versus good guy equals good event. It's always usually a disappointment. And then I kind of came in and shook everything up where it was almost like, the John Cena character will be good until we put him with another good guy and then the audience can turn on him. We're gonna find out who's better! The answer's gonna be me. But it made for a lot of tough nights with me because even, even the nights that I did well, it was like I was playing on the road every night. I never had a home game. There's an explosion brewing at the biggest blockbuster of the summer. I was more than ready to test myself against Batista's power. But with someone like him, one wrong move is too many. One second I'm flying in the air, and the next I'm hearing his music playing, and he's announced the winner. I wanted that win really bad. I wanted to put my stamp on the whole who's better discussion between me and Batista. But now I knew the stakes, and any time we'd compete, I wouldn't mess up that same way again.